the channel welcome to the energy welcome to the vibe if this is your first time coming along my name is angel and this is the goddess exchange youtube channel i am feeling called to and if you're an old friend welcome back we are going to shuffle the tarot and the oracle cards for today i'm going to be using the sacred forest oracle deck i hope you guys can see i'm such a don't turn on the big light person <laughs> so i have christmas lights all over my house and i don't like turning on the big light if you know you know <clears throat> um i'm so grateful for you guys um i had some tea every time i start up a video i have to clear my throat it's so crazy I have a little tea left. I feel like I want to make some tea and then come back. But I'm trying to get this video done. It's Friday night and my kids are asleep. And so mama is about to have a party. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just shuffle and see what the guides have for you. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, this Libra season has been heavy. And when I say heavy, I don't mean bad necessarily. I just mean heavy. If you know, you know. <laughs> it's been a little heavy. Um, there are so many things that have come up to the surface that um, are coming up to be witnessed and released but the coming up part is the hardest part, I know. Um, I feel like Libra has a message. And that's, and that's what we're shuffling for tonight. So Libra, the, I, everything is energy for me. Everything carries a spirit. So Libra is an energy in itself. And I believe that Libra has a message. I was looking through my notes. And um, I saw that this time last year... I was asking myself or the divine and my guides, when did Libra season become so heavy? Because so many things came up for me last Libra season and those same things are coming up again. Um, and not everything is coming up to be quote unquote released, um, but some things are being brought up to just help us grow and not necessarily release and heal, but to help us grow. And like I was telling, someone I was talking to the other day this journey that we're all on is about growth and is about learning and so I'm always looking to find how can I grow from this what is this teaching me because everything is a teacher no matter what it is no matter how good it is or how good you may think it is or how bad you may think it you may perceive it to be it's all a teacher and so I'm always looking for the lesson <clears throat> because I'm not coming back here. <laughs> I'm not coming back to learn again because that's why we come here to learn, to grow, to evolve, to ascend. And because we're walking each other home, a part of my mission is to help you do that. So my, my intention is through the words that I say, the stories that I share, the tarot readings, the oracle readings, the products, my intention is to help you remember who you are and so that you can ascend, so that you can grow, right? So that we don't come back here. <laughs> and that's essentially what we're all here to do, to learn, to grow, and to use what we have to help someone else, to use our gifts to help other people ascend, to help someone evolve, right? To add value to someone's life. And so that's my intention here today. So I'm shuffling for a message from Libra. What is Libra's message? What is what is the message here? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides of light, love, and truth. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you for the person that is watching what is the message here and okay i'm gonna shuffle these for wisdom from the forest i love these cards um they are living and breathing 
So before I got on, I shuffled for myself and it was such a beautiful reading. Oh my God. <laughs> I really just wanted to go and revel in it and relish in it. <laughs> but Spirit's like, no, you, you need to shuffle. We have Water Spirit and Guardians of the Land. Protection, the number 21, the number 46, which is what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> 10, the number 10, the number 3. Water spirit manifesting dreams. And that and that kind of ties into the reading that I did for myself. Um okay. What is the message here? about manifesting dreams okay I had to take a second um And here's the deer. I had a deer come up in, in my reading too. And this red is standing out to me. Yeah, and 333 three, three has been following me. So if 333 three, three is like something special for you right now, if that resonates for you right now, um. I would ask my spirit guides what that means for me or what that means for you right now. Because numbers, 333, 222, whatever number it is, whatever repeating number you see, the numbers mean different things at different times. Each number carries an energy, yes, but you're supposed to ask your spirit guides, the divine, what they mean for you. So 333 could also, it could be confirmation in one breath and a warning in the next. So whatever that means for you, and this is protection. Um, yeah, so spirit wants you to know that your dream is protected. Your goals, your visions are protected. And protected in the sense like you can rest and you can take a break and you can come back and you can and this is contrary to what most people are going to say and what I have said sometimes but you can share them is what spirit is saying you can share them you can share this I don't know if it's a physical thing that you can share or a blessing that you have that you may be holding on to or something that's coming in that you feel like you should hold on to and not share but spirit is saying yeah whatever dream is manifesting spirit is saying you can share that yeah there will be people in place for you to share with There'll be people in place for you to share with. Um, the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups are here, along with the Nine of Cups. Yes, yeah, Spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that you are working on, whatever it is that you have set the intention to manifest, you can see it materializing. And now is not the time to be afraid. 
um, now is not the time. And that's what they were talking about was sharing. Now is not the time to be afraid. Now is not the time to, to give up in a sense. Okay, let's talk more about the five cups. Yeah, someone's doing what they've always done. And this is a message from Libra. Yeah, you don't have to do what you've always done. In order for things to be different, you're gonna have to do some things differently. There's hesitation with this energy. There's pause. Um, someone feels like, like they're afraid to leap. Like the what ifs. So we already know that what you're manifesting is materializing. It's here, it's coming, you feel it. You started something new. You notice the person that you're becoming. Your guides are applauding the person that you've become, that you're becoming. Your guides are applauding the process. You honoring the process. And understanding that you're human. So you're doing what you've always known to do. Yeah, there's no shame attached to this, um, to doing what you've always done. But when you know better, you do better. Talk to me about... Okay, they want to talk about collaboration. They want to talk about love. <clears throat> okay, that message is over. They want to talk about love or friendship. They're saying guidance, guidance ship. So this could be a relationship. Um, it could be with a family member. A very, it will be a very close relationship. Um, a mentor, or it could be a relationship where one person is older than the other, or one person feels older than the other person. Okay, what about okay I hear the word union Someone's going to be picking up and moving. I heard the word picking up, picking up, moving, picking up and moving. Or with the judgment card here. Okay, so someone, there's a lot going on here. Someone has put love aside or cast love aside or has forgotten about love. And they're saying, oh, yes. Okay, four, four, four. Um, <laughs> I just got so excited. 
okay, let me back up a minute. Someone has put love aside, cast love aside, and they're the reason why I got excited because they were saying that it's it's about to get good. <laughs> they 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 said that it's about to get really good. And when I looked at the timer, it was fourteen forty four, and four 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 is usually confirmation for me and my guys. And my nose was itching, <laughs> so that's why I got so excited. But yeah, they were saying this is about to get good. Um, somebody's about to pick up and move, and their opportunity will follow. So even if you don't have all the details you will be supported there there is support there will be support and that's what the three of pentacles is here don't worry about yeah they're saying don't worry about how it's going to happen don't worry about the money don't worry about the this to that and the third like you will be supported there will be support um for some of you you are going to meet a shaman or some sort of elder or some sort of person that's going to come into your life and not only teach you but guide you and love you as a father would or as a as a mother would and and that and from that relationship like you are about to meet your cosmic family or you've already met your cosmic family they're being set up into place for you so they're in place. It's, it's, I'm seeing a vision of like um, when the fool, if you've ever studied tarot or tarot, you know the story of the fool and how he's passing through all these different people or all passing through and meets all these different people along his journey. And that's what I'm seeing. So there's, there is a new beginning. And that sounds so cliche for a tarot reader to say. There's a new beginning here. I almost cringe sometimes when I say there's a new beginning or when I hear someone else say there's a new beginning because I feel like everyone, especially on TikTok, it's like, oh, there's a new beginning, there's a new beginning. But there really is a new beginning here. This is something so new. And when I seen the judgment card and uh, the nine of swords, is this the nine of swords, y'all? Don't give me the line. Sometimes I don't even like really say what cards I have. I just go off the energy I feel. But when I seen these two cards together, I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was a little like, what, what? Because they wanted to talk about love. And I'm like, what, what? what? Um, but then I heard Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, But what they were saying is, and what I feel with these cards is that, yeah, they're saying the worst is behind you. It's behind you. And you're just figuring things out. Like this is a part of the process. And someone's like, I'm just trying to figure things out. Like, how do I figure things out? Like, all of these revelations, all of this information, what, like, what do I do with this? How do I make this real? It's one thing to hear a prophecy or to hear something that you resonate with. And then it's another thing to, to apply it to your life or to figure out the next practical step to take. Someone's like listening to some information or you've heard information before and like and and they have said to yourself, okay, that's that's really beautiful and I, I like that and I resonate with that, but what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> yeah. The divine is like, I get it. That makes sense. And they want me to tell you, and I and I say this a lot, and this comes through in my readings a lot, but God, source, the divine, your angels, your guides, your ancestors especially, are always continuously, infinitely honoring the fact that you are human and they know you are human. 
And they want you to honor that too. And whatever that looks like. For me, it looks like being kind to myself and extending grace to myself for when I mess up or when I act less than I know I can or when I act in anything but love, when I act out of fear and anger and lack or whatever else. I extend grace to myself the same way I would to someone I, that I love and that I care about. And that's, that, is, that is what is coming through for you right now. Okay, something's happening with my right wrist out of nowhere. Okay, we're back to love. So you may have had in the past or, okay. So when I said, let's back up a minute. When I said picking up and moving, um, and they said that you were going to meet your star family, your cosmic family, you could also meet the love of your life in this next venture. I heard in this next town, in this next phase. Okay. One more message. Normally, I would say I hope that this is resonating with someone, but I believe and I set the intention that whoever this message is meant to find at whatever time you are meant to find it, you will come across it and you resonate with whatever part you were meant to find. And that's the vibe. Empress and the Knight of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. And I heard the word service and servants. What's the energy here with the Knight of Cups? Yes, Ten of Pentacles. Yes, the Nine of the Nine of Cups. I can't make this up. If things feel entirely different, it's because they are. And they keep bringing me back to the fact that this is a message from Libra. That was the intention that was set. So if things feel different, entirely different, it is because they are. And they're saying, we only, want, we only wish to bring you the best. We only want to bring you the best. And you may not want to hear this, but sometimes things get worse before they get better. When in with the Knight of Cups here, I smell food. I can't really place the spices right now. Tarragon. Tarragon. Um, I smell food. Tarragon is, I'm hearing tarragon. I don't. Piccadilly could be significant, but I smell food and then I have a taste for like rich spices. Okay, there's a party. There's a party that you will be invited to that is coming up. There will be a party. <laughs> there will be a party. <laughs> um... I lost my train of thought. Hold on. Okay, yes. Quantum. Okay. And the reason why I lost my train of thought, because <laughs> they're so dramatic. What they're saying is, welcome to the realm of creation. Welcome to the realm of creation. This is this is a this is a, a huge shift for you, and I believe before I started this, I said um, if things feel entirely different, it is because they are.
they're saying seed of creation. I don't know what that means. It's like you're sitting in the seat of creation. And when, and when that happens, when you're in the darkness, sometimes darkness is used to create. When you are in a place where the possibilities are infinite, you could go any place, you could create anything. When you're a magnet, you're the empress, and your energy is fertile and magnetic there is a lot to be attracted people are attracted to you they don't know why um and i'm sure you've heard this before that love is just or jealousy is just love and hate at the same time and i'm not saying that anyone's necessarily jealous of you but what i'm saying is that when you are in the realm of possibility, which could be the darkness, um, you have the potential to attract a lot of things to you. So sometimes you'll get what you don't want and it'll come to you. But in those moments, or in those instances when what you don't want is showing up, all you have to do is dismiss it and it'll go away. And then the next thing will show up. And if it's what you do want, you receive. You make space to receive. If it's what you don't want, you dismiss it and it'll go away. Hold on, y'all. My baby is awake. Okay, I'm back. Um, my daughter has decided to come and sleep in my bed. <laughs> and I'm doing this reading at my altar space in my room. So, I'm going to have to wrap this up. But, I did want to say um, that the gods are saying that there's so much light and love and, and joy and harmony here for you. Um there's a lot of fertile energy here. Um, they were talking about creation. Um, and the word remembrance has been very prominent lately. Also, when I was meditating before I shuffled for myself, the word magnify. I heard the word magnify. And now that I'm thinking about the word magnify, I um, I think about like what they would say in church, like come magnify the Lord with me, like come and make God greater, greater than I am right now. And how that applies here is that the divine is saying, I'm magnifying myself through you. Um, This is a time where you are stepping into all of your glory or embracing all of your glory. The glory that is you, um, the empress that is you, the knight that is you, the, the whatever that is you, all the goodness and the abundance that is yours um, is here for you. And that is what they want you to know. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If you resonated with this reading at whatever time and space that you resonate with this reading, please like it and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. I love you.